Okay, let's talk about what's good. We're heading to Charlottesville, Virginia, where a local businessman is on a mission to help first responders. In 2014, Ed Price opened a Firehouse Subs franchise, and since then he's employed hundreds of people and fed thousands. Ed says the best part of being a franchise owner is knowing a part of every purchase benefits the Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation. It's already donated more than a million dollars in grants to first responders and public safety organizations in Virginia. And Ed is joining us live from Charlottesville. Thank you for being with us. Good morning, welcome to Firehouse. Thank you, I wish I had a sandwich right now in my hands, but I'm gonna dream a little bit. Uh, Firehouse Subs naming you the 2021. You know that I can, sm I can smell them working. But I, yeah, you get to smell it. I don't get to smell it, Ed. <laughs> this bacon is wonderful. <laughs> That's what I say every morning. Uh, the 2021 Franchisee of the uh, Year, that, that's an award that you have uh, been receiving. Uh, what does that mean to you? Uh, it was a total surprise. Uh, the meaning is still registering with me. Um, there are 268 of our restaurants in the Mid-Atlantic region, and I'm the only one that's gonna be displaying this award for uh, 2021. And it's really uh, kind of thrilling. It is. It's thrilling. And you have helped to receive a uh, rather fundraise all of this money for grants. What are the grants used for specifically? The grants are typically awarded for life saving equipment or uh, training uh, that uh, benefits uh, the uh, first responding organizations and the markets that we serve. So for firefighters who need a little bit more help uh, in fighting the fires or in uh, responding to emergency situations as EMTs, uh, these grants would be useful for them in your community. Absolutely. Uh, jaws of life, you know, they get old, they need to be replaced. There might be a budget shortfall that delays that replacement. And uh, the Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation is there for that reason to step in in that sort of situation. And I know you've stepped in, too, with uh, COVID testing and vaccination drives as well. Tell us about that. Uh, well, the, uh, the main story is the Public Safety Foundation, but it's one of our core values that we give back to the community. And uh, we're doing that from this restaurant every day uh, in supporting the Red Cross, in supporting uh, the FEMA vaccination drives, and uh, on and on. I'm delivering uh, food over to the uh, University of Virginia Hospital today uh, to our world-renowned cancer treatment center. So you do a little bit of everything. Ed Price, uh, definitely. A you, little bit. Yeah. You, you, you do a lot. And I'm so excited for you, and I'm so glad that they've honored you and that you're continuing to make a difference in your community. Thank you so much, Ed, for joining us. It's a thrill to invite your viewers to the restaurant this morning. We open in about a half hour. All right. <laughs> and the bacon you. smells great. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All they right. So the now they know where to eat in Virginia. Subs. Do they have the best subs? Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't gracious. think I've ever They're had so good. one. I've oh, they're good. They got a nice toast. And you know what? I think you could smell it, but it's just the vinegar that they clean the table with. The house. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.